So a student writes in, can we have too many keywords for SEO? Oh my God, I need to address this. In this video, I'm going to talk about what keywords are and where you put them and this whole concept of not enough or too many and what that means. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back, and we're looking at this whole issue of can you have too many keywords? Are there too many? What's keyword focus? Uh, you may have heard this whole adage that content is king. So I built out some little links that you can look at. Uh, click on the YouTube uh, description below. It's a slash 45 on our website. That's going to get you to all the links and goodies that we'll go through. And I built this out, and I want to just sort of take some examples. And let's sort of think about this whole issue of how can I have too many keywords? Where do my keywords go? So I want to do a little Google search here. So I did a search for a very competitive uh, search for motorcycle insurance quote. And I want to look at some of my top one, two, three results. So let's take a look at our number two result for motorcycle insurance quote. And let's sort of ask this whole question. Can you have too many keywords? Where do you put your keywords? What is keyword focus all about? And I think it's super important as an SEO person uh, to not just take somebody's word for it, but to go look at what's actually winning when you look at a search. So let's look at our number two search here, which is a Geico page about motorcycle insurance quote. Now let's flip back over. Uh, to our links and I want to just look at the Google SEO guide really quickly. This is a super important guide. Uh, if you haven't got it, get it, read it. It's in the links that you can get from our website. And I want to show you down here. I want to load this guy up here and I want to just go down here to number 14, to page 14. So let's sort of scroll down real quickly, see if I can get this to cooperate. Let's go down and let's look at what Google says about content. If I can find page 14 here. Okay, so here's page 14. Now, what do they talk about? Right quality content, compelling content, useful content. Now, you've got to read this document and pay attention to what they're saying. And they say, you know, you've got to start to use the keywords that people search for in your website. You've got to think what are the keywords that people search for and they're making an example between an expert in baseball and a novice in baseball. And you've got to think about the way that people search and write quality content. No problem. Quality content. Now let's look at not what Google says we should do, but let's look at some winners. and Let's talk about sort of what does quality content mean from a Google perspective. So here's our search motorcycle insurance. Our number two is Geico. Let's look at Geico now. Let's just visually look at this page. Notice there's a lot of text on this page. Okay, now go control F as in Frank and type in the word motorcycle. <clears throat> Highlight all. Look at that. Wow, there's a lot of occurrences of the word motorcycle on this page. Let's put in the word insurance. Look at that. Let's put in the word quotes or quote. Look at that. So let's go back to just in motorcycle. Now let's talk about this. Can we have too many keywords? Now, here's what you want to understand. Focus. This page is all about motorcycle. It's not about RV. It's not about ATV. It's not about car. It's not about automobiles. It's about motorcycle insurance quotes. So when that student asks the question, can I have too many keywords? Yes, you can. You have to focus, especially your landing pages, laser focus on specific phrases that you want to dominate. So on this Geico website, the content is heavy. Let me get rid of that guy. The content is heavy for motorcycle. Now, let's go back to the Geico homepage and just notice that they've built out sub pages on each one of their product area. So here's where the focus is. This is all about ATVs. The other guy was all about motorcycles. Now let's look at this motorcycle page. Let's right click, view page source, and let's look at the tag structure. Now I'm not going to go into tag structure in this video. I'm going to assume you will have watched the video on tag structure <clears throat> or you will have taken my classes. So the keywords are strategically put in the right tag position starting with the title tag. The keywords are heavy, 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 written very, very heavy. Now let's take this page, 
Let's do a little trick here. Let's can copy all of the content on this page. Let's go back to some tools that I, I put out here that I want you to play with. Will you're writing content. You can take your content, you can put it in this funky little tool called Wordle here. Let me get the, the content from Geico here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in Wordle. I'm going to hit go. I'm going to say yes, I want to let the Java run. So it should run my Java for me. If it doesn't run, there it goes. So what Wordle is going to do is create a word cloud. Yes, I want to run that. It's going to create a word cloud about this. Now let's sort of randomize it. You can have some fun with it and just sort of see it. Now look at that one right there. That's a good visual. Look at the motorcycle. Look at the motorcycle. Look at the insurance. So this tag cloud is getting at the density. The density on a good page for Google is much higher than what normal people would write. So this is heavy text for Google. Now let's talk about some other issues. Can you have too many keywords? Yes. You want to focus, focus, focus those pages for effective SEO. Now look at this page. Notice it's heavy motorcycle, but they don't say motorcycle comma, motorcycle comma, motorcycle insurance comma, 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 comma. That would be thrown out. They write subject, verb, object. You know, thought that Geico was all about car insurance. Did you think again? We take motorcycles as seriously. They write complete sentences or close to complete sentences with the words and the phrases that they want. So Google looks at the position of the keyword in the tag structure. It looks at the total keyword density. It looks at what's called natural syntax. It wants to see you writing in complete uh, sentences. In the search engine optimization guide, it says we like content, but they don't really say we like heavy content, but truly they do. Go look at some websites and look at who's winning. Now let's go back. Let's just quickly look at somebody else. Let's look at industrial fans for agriculture. This is not as complicated. It's not as competitive as motorcycle. Let's look at our number two result here. Let's take a peek at that number two. I think it's a good one. Let's let that load. Now this is industrial fans for agriculture was the search. Now let's just do control F as in Frank and let's type in agriculture and we'll just stop there so we get all agricultural and agriculture. Notice the density. So they have good density. It's not as high as the Geico page, not as competitive as the industry that Geico is working in, but they do get that word agriculture on the page strategically. Now obviously with the word fan everywhere. Lots of text on this page. So this page as well. So there's some couple uh, tools I want to show you. So there's Wordle. You can get a visual sense of it. Let me show you another couple tools that you can take. Let me get back to that Geico page. And let's look at this tool right here. This tool is a good tool for analyzing keyword density. So let's look at this Geico page here. Again, heavily focused in the right tag positions, focusing on the word motorcycle. Let's copy that URL. Let's put the URL in a couple of these tools. I think I did it wrong. My bad. Put it there and then let's submit it here. And this tool is going to show you the tag positions. So it shows you the tag positions and what's nice about it, it gets to your densities. It gives you the phrase densities of that. So look at your densities for the words motorcycle insurance. They're in the 3 to 4% range. That's a good density. This tool doesn't help you with the semantic structure, but it's a pretty good tool. Now let's go back. Let's look at another tool and then we'll wrap up. So this tool here is a pretty good little tool here. This ah, wrong one. Let me get the right one. Metamend. This tool here is very, very cool. Take your content, paste your content in this tool. It's going to build a word cloud and it really kind of synthesizes what I've talked about. So we have a nice focus on a target keyword, in this case, motorcycle insurance. You can hold your cursor here and it'll give you the density and it gives you the locations. So motorcycle is 3.8% dense. It's in the title, the description, the keywords, the header, uh, L for link text and C for content. So this is a good way to look at that density. Now let's wrap up with one final thought. Let's take this motorcycle page here very, very well. Our whole question was, can we have too many keywords? Yes. You've got to focus your pages on a very uh, defined 
keyword, keyword phrase that you want to get to. Geico has a fabulous website for SEO. So focus, focus, focus. Get the keywords in the right tag positions. Write much heavier keyword content than you would normally. And then finally, I want to leave you with this thought. There are some tools on the internet, such as this guy here, the Grammarly.com tool. Let's just paste that and let's talk about that while it's checking. So Grammarly is a little company, Lord knows where. They have 3 million people, I guess, who love them, 500 and some thousand on Facebook. That's pretty amazing. Google obviously has super, super, super smart programmers. If Grammarly can analyze your content and check it, do you use subject, verb, object? Do you use correct English? Do you use correct spellings? You can be sure that Google is checking your content too. So it's rewarding you for heavy keyword density in the right places, very focused on target text, and it's also doing some sort of behind the scenes check about your grammar, your spelling, your punctuation, and deciding that it likes you. Now this page, which does pretty well, is a score of about 52. It's a score of about 52. So that's kind of telling you pretty clunky text can get to the top of Google, no problem. So I want us to sort of leave you with that thought. All of the links will be on our website. You can click on the YouTube video description. We've answered the question, can you have too many keywords? Yes. You want to focus, focus, focus. Look at a website like Geico as a good example of heavily focused content and realize, yes, content is king, as Google says, but you got to put it in the right positions with the right uh, text. So thank you so much for watching. You can get more videos on our YouTube channel. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, all that jazz. Thank you so much, blah, 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 blah. I really enjoy doing these quick videos. Please send me any questions you have, and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, thank you again.